the January eruption of the Tonga volcano triggered a tsunami 90 meters high. The initial height of the tsunami caused by the eruption of the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano on January 15, 2022, was 90 meters. Such conclusions were reached by researchers from the UK, New Zealand, Croatia, and Japan, who analyzed changes in atmospheric pressure and sea level and created nine models of a volcanic tsunami. The study is published in Ocean Engineering. The underwater volcano Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai is located in the South Pacific Ocean. It belongs to the Tonga Chromatic Island Arc, which was formed as a result of the Pacific Plate sinking under the Indo-Australian Plate. Since the beginning of the 20th century, the volcano has erupted at least four times, and at the end of 2021 entered a new period of increased activity. On January 15, 2022, the most powerful eruption on Earth in the 21st century occurred. Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai threw out a column of ash, which rose to a height of 58 kilometers within half an hour. The explosion of the volcano was felt all over the world, for example, weather stations in Russia recorded lamb waves. For more information about which echo of the volcano was registered in Moscow, you can read in the material four signals of Hwanga Tonga Hwanga Hapai. The eruption caused a series of tsunamis that claimed the lives of five people. Waves were recorded at a great distance from the source, for example in the Indian Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. This tsunami has two mechanisms of formation the displacement of the water mass caused by the eruption and the propagation of waves in the atmosphere. Destructive sea waves of atmospheric origin are also called meteor tsunami. A similar situation of the occurrence of a tsunami, where both a localized source and atmospheric processes participated, was observed after the eruption of the Krakatau volcano in 1883. A group of researchers from the UK, New Zealand, Croatia, and Japan, led by Mohamed Haidarzadeh from the University of Bath, studied tsunami waves that were recorded at a distance of up to 1,500 kilometers from the Hunga Tonga Hunga Hapai volcano. Since the January 2022 tsunami was caused by two different mechanisms, scientists analyzed changes in sea level and atmospheric pressure. Then the reconstruction of the tsunami source was carried out. The model proposed by the researchers does not take into account the contribution of atmospheric processes to the observed tsunami, but takes into account only the eruption of an underwater volcano. Analysis of data from 22 tide sensors showed that the tsunami amplitude in harbors and ports ranged from 4.2 to 148.8 cm. The maximum level was recorded off the coast of New Zealand's Great Barrier Island. The work also used data from eight deep sea sensors DART, which are installed at a depth of 1,000-5,000 meters. They registered tsunami amplitudes from 3.6 to 21.4 cm. Some of the stations caught high sea waves that were 1-2 hours ahead of the arrival of volcanic tsunamis. As it turned out when analyzing meteorological data, these early waves in the ocean propagated synchronously with the waves in the atmosphere. The researchers put them in the category of meteor tsunami. Sea level changes, black graphs, which were registered by deep sea sensors on January 15, 2022. Pink graphs represent time series of changes in air pressure. The pink arrows show the arrival time of the meteor tsunami, while the green ones show volcanic tsunamis. Then the dominant wave periods were highlighted. For volcanogenic tsunamis, they were 10, 17 and 4, 7 minutes, and for meteorological tsunamis, the periods were 7, 10 minutes, according to tide sensors, and 30, 60 minutes, according to deep water stations, respectively. When modeling the volcanic tsunami of Tonga, two parameters were taken into account the initial length of the tsunami and the amplitude of the wave. Scientists have proposed nine models, varying in length from 6 to 20 kilometers and amplitude from 30 to 90 meters. The most realistic option of all turned out to be a wave 12 kilometers long with a maximum amplitude of 90 meters. In this scenario, the volume of displaced water as a result of the Tonga explosion is 6.6 .6 times 109 cubic meters. According to the researchers, this assessment is confirmed by measurements at deep water stations. Earlier on N plus 1 we wrote about another famous eruption of the Santorini volcano, which generated a series of tsunamis 1500 to 1570 years BC. The destructive waves had a height of up to 10 meters, and its traces were found in sediments on the northern coast of Crete, 